Today we have with us Dr. Binder Singhal, pediatric urologist. Dr. Singhal specializes in urological problems in children. Today he will tell us about lower urinary tract infections and upper urinary tract infections in children, their causes and complications. He will also talk to us about the treatment options available to your child. School age uh, girls are uh, frequent visitors to myopedies primarily because they have a tendency of holding on to the urine and most of the times you observe that in most of the schools the toilets are not very clean for girls and since they have to use the toilets in a particular way they have to sit and use it and often the time is not much they often tend to postpone their urination. This is a very very common cause of low urinary tract infection in girls. Urinary infections in children are of two types. One is a low urinary tract infection which primarily comes with uh, burning micturition going to the toilet frequently and uh, uh, also uh, not waiting to go to the toilet. They have to rush to the toilet. These are the signs of uh, low urinary tract infection. These are generally treated with uh, giving plenty of water and also uh, giving low dose antibiotics. And uh, the upper urinary tract infections typically come with tummy ache. They come with high grade fever, vomiting and children will look and feel very sick. These children should be admitted for intravenous injections. And in these children who have upper urinary tract infection, generally there is an underlying surgical cause like obstruction or a reflux of the urine into the kidneys. These uh, problems can be easily picked up on ultrasound and uh, other types of x-ray modalities which must be done in any, children who, any child who has an upper urinary tract infection. Parents should be aware that children who have a, a severe infection in form of fever, vomiting, tummy ache, they must be investigated with at least ultrasound and other kinds of tests like a CT scan or a micturating cystourethrogram so that the cause of infection is found. Because if you don't find the cause of infection and just treat the symptom of urinary infection itself, then these infections will keep on coming back and in the long term will damage the kidneys. Upper urinary tract infections often damage the kidneys and leave a residual scarring. This scarring can lead to loss of protein into the urine. It can lead to uh, decreased function of the kidneys. So it is very important that urinary infections are diagnosed and treated in time. And I would urge all the school authorities and teachers to take care of the toilet so that Toilets are clean and the girl children are given adequate uh, pee breaks so that they can go to the toilet and pass urine and not get into urinary infections.